What's popping, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? All right, just to be transparent, I already did an unboxing to this video, I already filmed it, I was halfway done editing it, and then I realized that my unboxing reaction is completely different from my actual review of these candles. So I just said, scrap the whole video, I'm gonna start over and give you an actual review of these candles. And just to cut to the chase, this is my least favorite Jackie Aina candle collection. It's very unfortunate, but I'm still gonna give you my review and my opinion, okay? Here's the box it comes in, white box with the pretty little butterflies. And then on the back we have the scent details and all four candles. And on top is just burn time. What's different from this collection, each candle comes in its own separate little box. And I think it's just so cute and just the little things matter when it comes to packaging. In previous collections, they have a foam inserts and each candle gets inserted inside. However, I can see the difference in size when they give each candle their own little box. You see the size difference? So yeah, you see the difference. So having their own little boxes inside has saved space, but still looks cute for packaging purposes. This collection retails for 143 Zoilas, and they also have a mini collection, which retails for $53. Now I wish I would've got the mini collection this time around, since I didn't have to commit to all big size candles, but we're here now, and I'm gonna give my opinion. Now the assignment for Jackie Aina for this spring candle collection was to one, provide us light and airy scents for the spring. Two, give us four unique candles we've never smelled before. And I think she got the assignment down pat. Like she got an A++ on the assignment. It just all comes down to personal preference and I just personally do not like these candles. So the first candle I'm gonna show you is Spring Flings. As you can see on the box, it still has the butterfly packaging, scent details on the back, sprung season on the inside with metallic butterflies and all inside there are butterflies. So Spring Flings. It smells like lemon, a nice citrusy lemon. This is a candle you put on after you clean the whole house and you just wanna air out everything and it's just gonna give you a neutral lemon scent. Overall, this is like my favorite candle in the collection just because it reminds me of cuffing season. It's just citrusy, clean. I think everyone would like this candle regardless because it's a familiar scent. But after this, it starts to go a little downhill, I'm not gonna lie. Next, we have Bad and Boozy. Here is the green packaging thing on the back. Boom. And you know what, Bad and Boozy smells like a mix between clean laundry and a man's cologne. I don't know what that means to you, but that's what that means to me. It doesn't smell bad at all. It smells really good actually. But the thing is about this candle, I wish it was more fall scented in the meaning of when this burns, it's, it's just a light scent in the air. I want heavy, I want strong, but this isn't that. So although I like the scent off just a first whiff, when you burn it, it's light. To the point where if I'm sitting in a room with this candle while it's burning for a long period of time, I don't smell it anymore. Next candle we have is Butterfly Effect in the pink packaging with the scent details on the back. So Butterfly Effect smells like roses. This is very floral with like an undertone of like amber, sandalwood, sweet. But overall it's like, you know those roses that last a long time in the boxes and they live forever? That's what that smells like, just bougie roses. And again, off a whiff, it smells nice. But once you start to burn it, it just, it's light. It's not really doing it for me. It's too spring for me. And then the last candle we have is Cloud Dream with the scent details on the back. This is a popular candle. If you read the scent notes, you think you might like it personally for me. However, this is my least favorite candle. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. It smells like a combination of fruit and flowers and it's just too overpowering for me. I tried to burn this and give it a chance because I thought, oh, maybe it's gonna smell different when it's burned. No, the scent amplifies once it's burned. And so much so I burned it for like six minutes and I put it out because I could not take the scent. So this is not getting any love. I hate this candle and that's my business and it's fine. But I am sad because each candle has this ombre effect uh, and it's just so pretty with each color, but you know, it is what it is. I'm here for constructive criticism and that's all I can give. Up until this point, I think the Valentine's Day collection is up my speed. That's my favorite collection thus far. I don't know, it just smells like love is in the air. And I've bought that collection twice. And if you had told me right now what these candles smelled like, 
I probably would have bought another Valentine's Day collection and I would have just skipped the spring collection. However, I'm here for you to do these reviews. So I buy them so you don't have to. And what's crazy is I love how lots of people really do love this collection and I'm glad they do. I'm glad you have a candle that fits your needs. This just doesn't fit my needs. So in conclusion, drink your water, mind your business, and I will see you in the next review. Bye.